everybody. I finally found an earwax removal kit that I'm hoping will be the one that will do the trick. I got it from Tamu. And per my, well it's not my doctor, when I went to like urgent care, I don't know if, if any of y'all saw my earwax, previous earwax removal video with products that I used just that I got from Walmart. And my sister was in the video as well helping me with the tools. They didn't work so well and I had to go to the urgent care the following day to have help getting the wax out. And they used um, an ear irrigation system with half let me show you. I just took this out of the box and this is what it looks like. It's got a bottle. It comes with like a cup that fits over your ear with the tube going in it. And I like, and this, it comes with a little box that you can keep all of your tools in it. So it's easy, you know, to stash it away in between uses. I love that. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. Um, what was the cost of this? I think it was $12, if I'm not mistaken, which to me, that's not a bad price. It really isn't, because I compared. Um, there were other ones that were like over 20 bucks, like if you get somewhere else. Um, and come with a bottle and everything. So I'm real excited to try this. I'm not ready to do it right now. I'm just doing an introduction to the product that I got. And then I will come back have the video for you when I'm ready to do it, which I hope to do it soon. Thank you. Okay, I forgot to mention, I also got some extra tools from Tamu, ear cleaning tools. They're these little silicone pieces. Let me take one out. This is silicone. It's real soft. I hate that you're not getting a really good clear picture but um, anyway it's soft nice this is another end that I guess you can twist it around and get some wax I actually might try this right now out of curiosity ooh 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 I got some I don't know if you can tell on the tip Yeah, I got a little, it hurt a little bit because any of these tools, I feel like it's pushing the wax in further. That's why I really want to use the, um, the irrigation kit that I got. I'm going to try to do this again though because it did feel good. The trick is to not push it down in there too much. Yeah, I got a little more, but I definitely just need to do the irrigation kit. It does feel good. But I think, ooh, yeah, I'm not putting it, it's not in there very far. It is getting a little bit, there's still a little bit on there. But I think, opposed to like a Q-tip, where you're going to get some off, it primarily is pushing it down in there, which I guess this would do the same thing. But since it has like the little teeth, it's like a comb, silicone. If you do it in there and you're twisting it around, not, not going in there too far, then it'll catch some of that wax and pull it out. But again, this isn't a, a, a total resolution to earwax. This is just like maybe in between doing an ear irrigation kit and just kind of scratching, you know, itching when it, you know, the water gets in there and just... You're not don't really have the time maybe to do the irrigation. You can just scratch it, and get a little bit of that wax out to kind of relieve some of the discomfort or itchiness. But anyway, um, so that's a little demonstration of that, I guess. So that's my ear itching tools in between the irrigation. So when I'm ready, I'll come back and I'll show y'all how the ear irrigation kit works. I'm looking forward to that. Okay guys, I'm finally ready to try this ear irrigation kit. I'm going to be getting a shower in a few minutes and I thought, 
Yeah, this is a good time to do it. I'm gonna try the right ear first. It comes with this little uh, little towel to put here. Um, I've got this ready. It took me a minute to figure out how to put it together. It does come with instructions, but it just took me a minute. It's a little tricky without pictures and what have you, but I, I figured it out. Um, in here, I've got half hydrogen peroxide and half, I use bottled spring water. I don't want to use tap water. I don't like to use tap water, at least here even. Because um, in the morning when you first turn the tap water on, it's discolored. It's a little bit like muddy. Anyway, you do what you want to do. I used bottle spring water and it recommends uh, lukewarm. Warm. So I heated up the portion of water in the microwave for about 15 seconds and it's not hot but it's warm. Alright, I may have to adjust this a little bit. I need to see because it's supposed to go in the ear canal. Yeah, I think that might do it because you can see this the tube goes through there. Um, let's see. You don't want it to go too far. It says to test it a little bit and that this is supposed to be in there securely. I feel like that'll be perfect. And then I've got the tube in here to catch all the fluid. So I'm just going to go ahead and start pumping. Oi! <laughs> uh, oi! Okay. Uh, uh. Ooh, i got to remember to keep that. Yeah, I'm going to be getting myself wet. Okay, i got to keep it secure. I want to make sure it's in the ear. I'm moving around. It did say to kind of move it around. You want to make sure to get the different areas. Okay, why is it not working? Okay, here we go. It's coming. And of course, you do feel some pressure. That's normal. I probably, I, I feel that, ooh. I'm a little dizzy. It did say that if you don't get the water warm enough, if it's too hot or too cold, it can give you vertigo. Okay, let me keep going. It's giving me that weird, maybe I need to not have it so deep. It's not that deep, but it can give you that sensation of like vertigo because you got that water going in your ear. Okay. Oops. Now that shouldn't be leaking. I may not have that on good enough down here. I may have to readjust that. Ooh. Oop, I keep wanting to move too far away from it. did say it might take, I'm looking at the water that's going in here, and so far I'm not seeing anything. And it can take some time. I may not have gotten the water warm enough. to the max. Oops, crap. Sorry. <laughs> I'm not seeing anything in here. Yeah, I'm like really dizzy. I haven't quite used. Is that? No, that's only just lightly damp from when I pulled it away. I'm going to have to pause this and sit down. That's how dizzy I am. Hold on. I'll be back. Okay, I sat down just for uh, like a minute. Um, I hear it's, you know, doing that sizzling, you know, that bubbling. Sizzling sounds like it's cooking, cooking my ear. It's bubbling in my ear. So I'm going to squirt some more in there. I'm looking, I don't think I see any, um, I think that's just, uh, 
that's not earwax, I think. I think it's just residue. Now that it's been bubbling, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to try it again. And, <coughs> and let's see. The thing is, when somebody else is doing it, you it feels uncomfortable, but you don't have any control. When you're doing it yourself, it's kind of hard to, you know, to do it because you're like, ooh, feels like, you know, that weird um, pressure. But let me try again. Let's see. And maybe I don't have it far enough in there. Maybe that's the problem. But I don't want to get it too deep. It wasn't too terribly long ago that I had my ears while well, that video, however long. Uh oh. Maybe. Uh oh. I, yeah, I'm getting myself soaking wet, as y'all can see. I must not, I must be pull. you know, I think it's hard to tell. <gasps> Uh-oh, I'm spilling it. Let's see, I'm already six minutes into this. Oh, my gosh. I think I might have got a little piece. I think there's a little piece floating in there. A little piece floating right there. I forgot it comes with this little bulb to get the excess fluid out of there, so let me try that. I don't think I had any extra. Okay guys, I'm ready to, to do the left ear now to give this one a try. Ooh, I even got the water even warmer. It just doesn't feel warm going in, but I definitely got a little bit. I definitely, I think I'm just not getting the water warm enough. I still warmed it up, but it's just, um, let me turn this on. If y'all can see, yeah, yeah, there's a few little pieces in there, so, um, yeah. It is working, it's just uh, requires a, it's some practice, I think. Oh, I'm digging in it and I need to do, let me see if this, if there's, there's not really much, see there's a little bit of wax on there, so it's loosening it up, it is. Um, so probably when I get in the shower and the water, I have to do this, I can't stand it. Maybe just a tad bit on there. It does work. I'm going to say the review. It definitely works. It definitely felt like um, in the doctor's office. You probably maybe can manage to not make such a big mess. It would be better. To, it, it would be easier with two people. It absolutely would be easier with two people. But it can be done with one person. But yeah, I think I got about the same maybe a little more from this left ear um next time i'll just have to heat i'm thinking I'm, it feels like i'm getting it too warm i do it for like 30 seconds the second time it just and it felt really warm but i guess by the time you get it in the bottle and stuff it cools off um my review i do give it a thumbs up maybe even two thumbs up because it is getting it out It'll just take me some more practice. I think if I get the water warmer, it'll work even better. But um, I'll put the link in the description box below if you're interested. Um, it's definitely cheaper than a doctor's visit. $12.88, I think, is what I paid for it. Something like that. But um, if you're interested, you can check it out. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're having a great day. Till next time, God bless.